Hi there, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Now, in the previous video, we went over how to create a writing habit where basically you've you know, set yourself up to write every single day. In this video, we'll be going over, well, what am I going to write in this, in, in this writing habit? It's like having water you know, to you know, water your garden with without having actually any seeds. Well, in this video, we're going to get you some seeds. In a moment. Oh, and I'm having Chinese food. Hope that's okay. Mm. Now, you might already you know, have a very good idea of what you're going to be writing about, or you might be walking here like no idea whatsoever. Either way, I think this video might be able to help you. Now, first, if you have no idea what you want to write about, you know, or even if like you have some idea, but not really much one, one thing that really helps in my experience is brainstorming. Now, I'm sure you've done it you know, before, like maybe you took college class where they you know, had you brainstorm, what have you. Let's see. The most important thing is to create a space where you can like generate ideas. So first, pull up a blank document, you know, your favorite word processing program, notebook, you know, piece of paper, or some index cards. Either way, once you have that, you want to start, you know, writing down ideas. Now, the first things first, give yourself permission to suck. Because, let's face it, the first few ideas I have every time I brainstorm are never the ideas I end up with. Because in all likelihood, the first few ideas you come up with, well, they're simple, they're easy, they're probably cliches. And it's the same thing for me too. Like I said, the first few ideas I come up with are almost never the ones I finish up with. But even though they're bad, cliched garbage, you know, the you know, knight saves the princess from an evil dragon, write them down anyway. Because if you're you know, putting your you know, focus on, is this a good idea or not? It defeats the point of the brainstorm. Now, people who are smarter than I have, explain this more thoroughly, but basically the idea is by giving yourself permission to write bad ideas, you give and you turn off that you know, uh, judging, editing side of your brain. It lets you focus on creating more ideas. Or while you're trying to figure out like, is this a good idea or not? You're not generating ideas, you're evaluating ideas. If you, you know, refuse to put down that bad idea because it's bad, it'll stop you from you know, creating good ideas. Now, let's say you start you know, coming with some good, you know, bad ideas. That's great. Now, keep them going. What you want to do is you want to enter a state of what's called flow, where basically, your mind pretty becomes this idea generating machine. You lose track of time. You just, you know, okay, here's another idea. Now that sounds like a good idea. Let's put that in. And then that one too. That's a good idea too. Now, once you've got a few ideas down, like you want to keep going until you reach a certain point. I highly recommend going until you've had at least, at least 10 ideas written down. 
and don't even be afraid to combine ideas or even like you know piggyback off one like for example maybe the first time i said knight saves the princess from the dragon then maybe next time it's the princess saves the knight from the dragon or even the princess saves the you know or let's say or even the dragon saves the you know, knight from the princess And then maybe like you get a rogue involved or a wizard. Some of the best ideas have been just taking you know, an old you know, standard trope and playing it from a different angle. Like the Star Wars, the Jedi are basically literally, you know, space wizards or space knights. I should say space monks. Let's see it. And of course, you're re and what, who are rescuing the first movie? The princess, literally. Although there isn't a dragon, really. Let's get, I guess you'd kind of count the Death Star as a dragon. Big, blows up things. Could be a dragon. Now, <clears throat> point is, write out a bunch of ideas. Once you've done that, then you know, when you finish your brainstorm, then you can turn that you know, editing, you know, judging portion of your brain back on. Because we're going to be going over, okay, you got some ideas. Now let's turn these from, you know, bare, bare bones, you know, basic ideas into something more. Now, you still be editing, but you can, you know, still feel free to come up. Like if you, you know, see an idea that looks good and you want to work on it further, feel free to brainstorm a little bit more. You can do this like two, three, you know, like three times is no big deal. For some things, I basically have like an ongoing brainstorm. Like I'll brainstorm like every so often, add more ideas. And by one thing I recommend: don't ever like you know fully truly delete something or you know a story or idea, because you never know when you're gonna come back to like that's a great idea. That actually happened with a fanfic of mine. Like, I came up with the idea you know, like two or three years ago. And then later on, I was like, you know, this sounds like a good deal. I'll do some writing for that. Now, let's say you've already got your big idea and you figured it out. Now it's time to start writing it. Okay, not quite. You have one more step to do. And this isn't required, but it's something I recommend. It's the outline, because think of it like this. You can figure out what you're writing about two times, before you start writing or while you're writing it. And while there are great, great, great writers who figure out as they're doing it. And heck, even sometimes when I'm in the process of you know, writing a story, I'll realize I need to add this section. It, I find it helps to have a structure first. Now, there's a lot of different you know, outlining options, especially if you're going with very different genres. So I'll save that for a different video. If you guys want me to go into like, okay, how do I outline a horror story, a romance, a fantasy novel? You know, let me know in the comment section below. I'll put that in a future video, or at least future video idea. 
but suffice to say you want to stick with the standard structure I'd say at least the first few times because after all as I point with Star Wars it's entirely possible to create something brilliant new and original out of pretty standard old ingredients as long as you, you know, use them the right way Now, I'm going to assume that you either have an outline for the genre you want to write, or you're able to get one quickly. If you haven't, pause this video, find like a basic outline for whatever genre you want to go for, like just a basic one, and we'll and, you know, come back and you know, unpause this video. Ready? Okay. As far as the outline itself goes, you can choose to make it as thoroughly detailed as you want or as general as possible. Like you could have basically summarize it like, I don't know, the knight you know, gets the quest to save the princess, he arrives at the castle, he fights the dragon, he saves the princess. Or you can go you know, more blow by blow. Like he gets the quest from the king, but then discovers that you know, the evil prince is behind it and you have to deal with something or other. Hey, it's a random idea for outline I haven't even thought of. Now, as a general rule, I tend to go like in between, like I'll you know, outline like what happens in each scene as a general idea. But I'll leave myself plenty of room to work with in each scene. And if I find that a scene as you change you know, significantly for the benefit of the story, I will do so. I think they kind of like, you know, maybe cooking. Like truly amazing you know, cooks can you know just whip up something from nothing. But for most of us, we have a recipe, and we either follow a recipe or we make some small substitutions to it. But we start with the recipe. One, one, one spring roll. Where's this egg roll? I think it's an egg roll. Now, like I said, you're free to go as you know, detailed or as you know, specific, as you know, general as you like. If you want to go blow by blow, go by blow by blow. If you want to go you know, general, go general. By the way, I recommend you know, filling out your outline from start to finish, and only then do you start the actual writing process. Now, it's entirely possible that, how to put this, you might be summarizing parts of the Like, you might know how it starts, but you know, the end is still a bit up in the air. That's okay, too. Especially if it's like a longer series, you have in mind. But figure out what, uh, like, fill out as much as you can, and then pull up the next video, because that's where we'll be going over. Okay, let's start writing. But for now, I'm gonna finish this off. I mean, you know, bid you folks a very fun tour. Farewell. Oh, I almost forgot. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to see notifications. I'll see you in the next video.